وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَوْلًا Excellent. Um, why is he called the Messiah? Excellent. So in the Quran it says. Uh, who is called the Messiah other than Jesus? Anyone else? I got you. Listen. In the Quran it says, Mal Masih ibn Maryam illa Rasulun. It says, Who is the Messiah? Jesus, the son of Mary, except a messenger. Okay. So the Messiah here yeah. tells you there is nothing more than a messenger. Okay, so oh, 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 relax, relax. Take, I got you. Right? We've been through this in San Diego, don't worry. You didn't, didn't, you didn't come with anything new, right? So different prophets have been given different titles, yeah. right? For example, Ibrahim is called Khalilullah. Yeah. Khalil means a friend of Allah, yeah. right? But the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu in one of the heats also called Khalil, right? Musa alayhi salam, many of us call him Kalimullah, yeah. the one who spoke with Allah. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi was called Ahmad, that was another name given to him. None of this means that they're other than a messenger, right? In Islam, the word Messiah is synonymous with being a messenger. It is a savior. And what is the salvation is when people believe in the message and worship the one God, then they are saved. That's okay, it. So, other than Jesus, is anyone else called the Messiah? Uh, that, that is besides the point. Let me explain why. Because a prophet being given a title yeah. does not make it that they're different from other prophets. Uh, because, because the Quran clarifies yes. Mal Masih. Yeah. The Masih is nothing more, Isa ibn Maryam clearly, Illa Rasul. You're not yeah, yeah. describing the word Messiah. The, the word Messiah here yeah. is given the definition of the Rasul. Why? Because in Arabic, when you have ma and nafi and yeah. illa al ithbath, yeah. then it clarifies that it cannot be anything other than that. Do you so understand? Again, Wait, did, did you understand or no? Um, you didn't understand. I I want to explain my point. Okay, go ahead. So in Al uh, Surah Al Imran, Al -Imran. In Ayah 45, right? Sure. Where he talks about uh, the name, the Messiah is given to Jesus. Sure. Right? Uh, it talks about that, but it doesn't describe what the Messiah means, right? And then uh, when we look at your tafsirs, like Ibn Kathir or Al Tabari, they give different definitions of the sure. word Messiah, but they only attribute it to Jesus, right? But they don't have a set definition. There's no consensus. So, so uh, again, I, th I think you missed my point. That's why you're. On, that, that's why I said, did you understand? And you just kept yeah, going, yeah. right? Exactly. So, when the Quran tells you, yes. uh, let me explain again. If I told you, La ilaha illallah, what does it mean? Um, that there's only one God. Nope, that's not what it means. Good, go ahead, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good in Arabic. I got you. You don't have to be good in Arabic. La ilaha illallah is very common, right? La ilaha, there is none worthy of worship except Allah, right? That tells you who is Allah. That Allah is the one, that the only one that can be worshipped. So it describes because in Arabic you have nafi, nafi means negation and then ithbat, right? So mal Muhammadin illa rasulin, right? For example, that who is Muhammad except a messenger. So that tells you about Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So then you don't need a, a, a dictionary explanation here, right? So when the Quran tells you mal masih, masih is nothing more. You cannot add anything to it. Isa ibn Maryam, clearly. Illa Rasul, that tells you that the Masih is a Rasul. Okay. This gives you, if you understood the Arabic of it, it gives you the meaning. Now, the Quran is a book of, yeah. is, is a book of guidance, small book with all guidance. Yeah. Every word in the Quran is not going to have a description after it, right? So, for your hadith, yeah, yeah. for your tafsirs, what does the word Messiah mean? So, the Messiah, for example, Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu, and others like, for example, uh, Ibn, the, Kathir, Ibn Kathir is a mufassir later. I'm okay. taking you back to the Sahaba. Okay. They explained it to be somebody who's Siddiq, somebody who's honest. In another uh, tafsir of it, they said this is the one that's anointed, that's chosen by Allah. Okay. And as I have a video, you can see, I scanned it from the tafsir. It mentioned the that this is something. No, no, not the footnote. Not the the footnote. actual book that I was holding uh, in my hand. Yeah, sure. That's the last video that posted. Did you see it? Uh, I saw you videos. Yeah. You, saw, you saw the one when I was holding and it said that this means this can be for saw, every prophet. I saw that you said all prophets can be called the Messiah. Of course. And do you stand by that? Yes. Okay, so when we look at 
uh, some other Muslim scholars mm -hmm. that disagree with you. Who? Um, I don't know their names. So then why don't you bring with a name before we can discuss their opinion? Okay, we can discuss them. No, no, you, you can't say other Muslim scholars disagree and then not tell in me one, who. In one of your videos, right, okay. uh, when you when you try to, um, how do I describe, when, when you try to uh, do damage control, right, I don't do damage control. Okay. okay. That's your opinion. Which which scholar disagrees with me? Uh, well, there's no. You can't scholars, name one. But Ibn Kathir doesn't say there's Muslim problem. Ibn Kathir disagrees with me. He doesn't say there's multiple messiahs. Where does he say that there are not multiple messiahs? Well, he only attributed to, to where Jesus. Where did he Where did he say it's only for Jesus? You just well, made it up. Uh, you just made it up on the spot. In, in Tafsir. Okay. Bring me Ibn Kathir where he says it's only Jesus. It's only Jesus. You haven't given a hadith where it shows okay. that all of Messiah. I, I don't need to. I gave you a qual of Sahaba, the uh, statements of Sahaba. I showed the book. If you saw the video, then you should know. And I, I showed the video yeah. where it shows this can be for any prophet. And that's, Kullil that's nab uh, Nabi. You, huh? because, you, <laughs> because you attached a footnote to it, right? No, and I so showed the book, the tafsir book in my hand in the last video. Br bring your phone, I'll show it to you. And, and first thing, you said Ibn Kathir said that it is only Jesus. Show me the proof now. Show it to me. I'm waiting. Is, and are there others called Messiah in the Bible? Again, we're talking about Islam. Oh, but you're a Christian. So you don't believe in the Bible? I do believe in the Bible. So there are other called Messiah in your own book. But you're just trying to make a point. My question, is, right? My uh -huh. question is, it's not about the Bible. Oh, because you don't want to defend the Bible. No, because you know you can't. Because I want to learn about Islam. No, you don't. Let, let me be honest. You want to debate. You don't want to learn, to be honest. Be honest. Look, look, let me ask you something. God knows your heart. You didn't come here to debate? I didn't come here to debate. You just came here to learn? I came here to learn. And if you're a liar, the curse of God be upon you? Of course. All right. <laughs> Walk a little bit away from you. I don't want a lightning to hit. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Where did Ibn Kathir say it's only Jesus? So we were going to show your video first. Sure. But, but I also want to see your statement that Ibn Kathir is the one that said that only Jesus. Well, we can see that, but I want to see from your channel. Okay. Uh, which video? Ambiya. Okay. When it says Ambiya, it says Ambiya, that is plural. So now you don't have to say those in the beginning, but when you see Jama, plural, that means it's those, right? So when it says Ambiya, Ida Masaha bihi shafs, Allama innahu nabi, right? If somebody is anointed with it, know that they are a nabi, they're a prophet, right? So now yes, when you have who, when you have Jama who, who was anointed with it to be called Messiah? Again. So here it explains the word Masih having to do with anointment and this would be Ambiya. It mentions it as a plural. Who is the okay. one like, that was anointed and called I'll, then I'll, to be the Messiah? Once again. A shakhs, whoever, a shakhs, a person is anointed, no, it says shakhs, it says whoever, the shakhs, you don't know, shakhs, shakhs, what does shakhs mean? You don't know. This is the next line, shakhs. Right, who is this now? Right, who is this, now? this is a continuation, right? Well, yeah, in the kharaja. Is, is it a different person? Kharaja min batan. No, it's a continuation. Yeah, look. Kharaja min batan. Nimsahu. Baddahan. Tayyib. Rih. Ida. Masiha bihi shakhs. If any shakhs. If any shakhs. Is Masiha. I am. No, you're not. If, if anybody. Shakhs. This is nakiran. And not al shakhs. Nakiran. Is anointed Musiha, then know that they are a Nabi. That means Masih. No. Here, yeah, know we that know he's that a prophet. A pro no. Yeah, and Shakhs. This is amazing. Shakhs is Nakiran. This is amazing. Now you're caught. No, now you're no, caught. These down. are a hadith. You're caught, book this in is hand. A companion yeah. or a tabi'i, which is hadith, explain that this statement can be used for any Nabi, any yeah. prophet. Yeah. Will you be satisfied? I'll be satisfied that any prophet can be called the Messiah, right? Okay. Okay, so now we have. Let's say, for argument's sake, for reason's sake, okay. that all of the prophets are called the Messiah. Right? Okay. Now, what does the word mean? Okay. So, the Sahaba explained this word yeah. to be those that are anointed yeah. by God, which is yeah. a meaning that they were chosen for prophethood. Yeah. Those that are honest, yeah. because the prophets are called honest, right? They're yeah. the ones that bring the truthful message, yeah. like the Prophet was called a Sadiq and Amin. Yeah. 
and other meanings like those that bring salvation with a message. Okay. You understand? So those are statements of Sahaba. Okay. Now, when you see the Quran, yeah. if you know the Arabic language, yeah. right? Can you show me the Arabic language right now? For what? Um, what you were just talking about? You know, I have a video where I scanned all the books and put it oh, on the video, you right? Can show me right here now, can't you? I, I don't have my books with me, do I? But you have a Quran with you. Show me from the Quran? No, no, no. Again. When the Quran, yes. okay, let me let me let me open your mind here, okay? Oh, we're not talking about. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm opening your mind. Relax. Don't be so scared of the Bible. You guys are like it's like kryptonite for you guys. You bring the Bible, like ah. Yeah. Okay. The Bible. No, you don't. It's the word of we'll, God. We'll find out in a minute. Okay. Okay. So there is a word, shama. Yes. What does it mean? I don't know. To read the context. Read it. Are we going to, is this going no, no, to I'm, your... I'm showing a point. I'm trying to explain something to you. Okay. So what does the word... I just randomly opened this, right? Of course. What does it mean? Oh, you know, it's an earth thing. Um, and after him was Shama, the son of age. Okay, what does Shama mean? Uh, I think it's a person, if I'm not mistaken. Show it to me in the Bible what it means. We don't need to show that, right? Why? Because when we uh -huh. look at the Quran... Uh, hold on, hold on. You, I showed you the meaning of the Masih from the Quran, but you want a definition of the meaning, right? From the Quran. You said, show it to me from the Quran. No, I just opened this. <sighs> Mal Masih. Show me the definition. Okay. My internet is slow, so you have to be patient. No, no, I got it. Okay. The Messiah. The Messiah. So right. Mary uh -huh. was not for a messenger. Okay, no. Other messengers have passed on before them, and his mother was a supporter of truth. They both used to eat food. Look how we make clean to them the signs. Then we clear to how, them. Clear. Yeah, clear to them the signs. Then look how they are deluded. So look the how Messiah, they are deluded. The Messiah. Okay, now hold on. Right. Here it tells you the Messiah is nothing more than a messenger. Okay, now hold on, hold on. Just to be fair, because you said you didn't come to debate, you came to learn. Of course. If I burn the, bring the, just randomly I open, Shema, what does, now how I explain this to you, explain that word to me from the Bible, you cannot. You did not explain it to me. Okay. You said the Messiah is the son of Mary. But Who is a messenger. Is, is nothing more than a messenger, that explains it. Now, just, oh, just, just that point. much, that much, Perfect. explain it to me for Shema. Okay, so. You cannot. Okay, you're so caught. I have you're caught in front of everybody. Okay, hold on. No, no, no. Hold on. You, you're trying to jump, and I'm not going to let you jump. I'm not jump. You are, I'm not because what you're doing is you're asking me a word in the Quran. You want a, you want a linguistic definition in the Quran. Yes. Now I'm telling you, do the same for the Bible if you're honest. And if you cannot, then don't expect the Quran is going to be the Messiah. By the way, this is a noun. It comes from this root word, and it has these many derivatives. It's not a dictionary, right? I, I no, 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 no. You did. You want a definition of what is the Messiah from the Quran. I now I'm asking. I, I said from the Quran, from the Hadith, yes? or from the Tafsir. Excellent. And Ibn Kafir says the Messiah, the Messiah, is the one that wipes. Sure. Uh, Ibn Abbas says something different. Right. And Abu Which are which different. are all correct. Which because all because so because. What is the because, consensus of the let me, word Messiah? Let me explain it to you a third time now. Okay. Well, you have not, I have, but you're not listening. But it's okay. I am listening. Okay. Before I do that, because you're asking for evidence for yes. the meaning for the word Messiah from Quran and Hadith. Quran but, Hadith or excellent. Can you give me the meaning of Shama from the Bible or Tafsir or Hadith? Is it a title? That's yes. Given to someone? I don't know. You tell me. It's not a title. What is it? Uh, I believe it's just a name. How do you know that? I don't know that because you, you don't know context. that. Read it. It's in front of you. No, 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 no. This is your Bible, your Christian. Of course. So you cannot even tell me what this word is, not let alone the meaning from the Bible. I read the Quran, didn't right? I? You did? You did. So okay, I'll read it. Read no problem. Thank you. But if it's not there, then you're going to be honest and say, 
And the Bible doesn't tell you what it is. Okay. If no. It's important. Okay. <laughs> the Bible is not important. <laughs> so, you, so any word in the Bible is not important? We don't need a dictionary for every single word. Like ah. Whoa, 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 whoa. What did you just say? We don't need a dictionary for every single word. So, but in the Quran, you want an explanation for every single word. Your double standards are getting caught. Okay. Okay. I want an explanation. Okay. Okay. I'll tell you. Uh, let me make it. Let me make it even easier for you. Right? What does the word prophet mean in the Bible? Show me the meaning. Uh, the meaning. Go ahead. The word prophet is important, right? It's a title. What's the word prophet Show me. Go ahead. I don't know. If I oh, oh, what? What? I what? can give you the meaning. What? From the Bible. I can give you the meaning of Al Masih too. <laughs> but you want it from the Quran. Al Masih. From Masaha. Yeah. which comes to wipe. What does it mean to wipe? These were people who so were not, oh, let me, can I, can I finish? Like can I finish? Yeah. It is an Aramaic word, right? That was brought into the Arabic language. So it was originally an Arabic word? Aramaic. Aramaic. Uh -huh. okay. Which was brought into the Arabic language. It was okay. a title used for those that were anointed. Wiped here meaning yeah. anointed. And when, anointed when, or wiped? Both. Wiped. That's how you be anointed. This is what they used to say so for the you prophets. So what even Abbas said about the Messiah? About what? About what the word Messiah means. I did not disagree with Ibn Abbas. Ibn Abbas says something different. What does he say? He says the Messiah means king or the Messiah means the one that... Where does he say this? Uh, in the tafsirs al Imran Which? Which tafsir? Uh, tafsir from Ibn Abbas. <laughs> Which tafsir? What tafsir? Uh-huh. Um, the tafsir uh, of Ibn Abbas. <laughs> did Ibn Abbas write a book of tafsir? Uh, I'm not 100% sure. Ah, so where did you get this information from? Um, from the Tafsir that I've seen online. From the Tafsir online named... Yes. Named... Um, I think it's on Quran.com. Oh, Quran.com is a Tafsir? No, it's not a Tafsir. Or is it a website? Uh, it's a website with the Quran, but it's okay. a Tafsir. So when Ibn Abbas says what about it? He says that the Messiah means the one that travels. Mm -hmm. or it means the king. Sure, this was uh, used for kings yeah. who were prophets in the time of Israel as well, yes. right? Like That's David right. and Solomon. So when he says this is used for that, yeah. it is not in contradiction but to saying. It yeah. gives different definitions. Uh, again, so let me, let me explain to you. Yeah. If, I, if I ask you, what's a man? What's a man? Yeah. A man? Yeah, a man. Uh, I'm a man, you're a man. Uh, we'll see about that. But <laughs> what, what's, what's the definition of the word man? Uh, well... <laughs> I believe a man is somebody with the chromosomes. With, uh, chromosomes. Yeah. So anybody with male chromosomes is a man? Yes. Okay, what if I say that somebody has male chromosomes, but he doesn't handle himself respectfully, so a man is somebody who keeps his word? Of course, but... So would that be a contradiction? No. So you got caught? No. It's, <laughs> because, no, 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 let me explain. So when you say just having male chromosomes makes you a man, and I say you have to live like a man, you have to keep your word, and you say, of course, that doesn't mean there's a contradiction. I, I, you are, let me finish, bro, take no, it easy. No. Just because you're caught doesn't mean you gotta like I, get, get God, flustered. God. You are caught, right? Okay. On video. So okay. <laughs> when you say a man, and you give different descriptions, somebody may say a man who, who takes care of his kids, a man who keeps his responsibility, a man who works hard, yeah. a man who keeps his word. Describing right? the role of the man. Exactly. You're giving different aspects of the word yeah. and the meaning. Yeah. So when you say Masih is a Rasul, is yeah. a messenger, yeah. as the Quran tells, he is nothing more than a messenger. Yeah. And somebody else says he's also the one who's honest, yeah. right? And somebody says these were this was the name given yeah. to the kings because at the time of Ben Israel, kings and prophets yeah. were together, right? Yeah. And they were wiped, meaning anointed, yeah. and this was the way people would know for them to be prophets. Yeah. None of that's a contradiction. It doesn't mean if you take one, you have to reject the other. Just of like course. when you see a man has chromosomes or a man has. Now, from the hadith, you explained from Ibn Abbas, what a Masih is, right? Yeah. So now I'm going to ask you from your Bible yeah. or your hadith, show me what the word prophet means. Uh, I don't know exactly. You don't know. I, you don't know and you think you're not. You. you will I, get back to me, okay. Yeah, I will get back to you. When you get back to me, yeah. then we'll continue this conversation. Okay. Okay. Now, now uh, we would like other people to also interact. I really of appreciate your But I, I, do, I do have one question for you as well. Of course. Yeah. Excellent. It's about the Quran? No. You, you're going to get back to me, so we're going to continue that. Okay. So you said that. Well, when are you no, back no, hold on. In, when are you back in England? I'll be back in England soon, inshallah. Inshallah, I have four pla trips planned, and I'll give you the number to the brother who coordinates. Okay. Me and you, will, what's your name? Charlie. Charlie. 
Okay, Charlie. Can you read this for me? Charlie? Would you like me reading this for me? Asai <laughs> was 22 years old when he became king and he uh, rejoined one Reigned. year. Reigned. Reigned. Reigned one year. I thought English was you guys' language, man. Sorry, I, it's all right. Reigned one year in Jerusalem. Yes. His mother's name was Athalia, the yeah. granddaughter of Umri. I'm reading upside down. Okay, now. Uh, you're going to go to where he says he's 44? No. I'm going to go where he's 42. 42. <laughs> go ahead. Close enough. As, um, as he was 42 years old when he became king and he reigned one year in Jerusalem. And his mother's name was? Um, Athalia, the Athalia. granddaughter of Umri. Yeah. So how could he be 22 and 42? Okay, so it goes back to the history of the manuscript. So okay. From my understanding, I'm not saying this is the right answer. So you believe in this book and you're not yeah. sure what it, what, no, if it's right I'm, or wrong? I'm saying from my understanding, because okay. we're not perfect, you admit that you not can Not perfect more. at all, of course. You can learn more and you might make I could, understand. I could. Okay, so from my understanding is when the manuscripts were written down, right? Uh, and there was written down over and over again. We got loads, thousands, tens of thousands of manuscripts, right? Keep coming. Um, when they copied it down, ah. from my understanding is that when they copied it down... The words of God. The words of God, 100%. Um, they, some of them have... Um, Errors? Translated it wrong. Ah, so from, what's your name again? Charlie. Charlie is saying, it. hold on. Charlie is saying that from people writing down the Bible, they made translation, transcript errors that were then printed and passed out in every Bible that we get, which clearly contradict each other numerically between 22 and 42. Okay, how many of these errors were made? Well, I can show you, right? I how how you. many of these errors were made? Uh, I can give you how many of them were made. Hundreds, thousands, tens? Um, I think it's mainly to do with the um, no, I don't think it's hundreds of thousands. You don't think so? So do you know how many? Uh, I think it's like less than 20. Where did you get that number from? Where did you get this number from? Don't uh, try to jump now. You're going to get back to your research. That, that's going. But so don't try to run. From, this is why this is kryptonite for you. Is that kryptonite? This, this is, it is. Yeah. Because you just made up a number. I didn't make up a number. You didn't make up a number. Yeah. Charlie, don't lie. Did I say Charlie, exactly don't, lie. don't lie. Don't lie. <laughs> don't lie. <laughs> Where did you get that number from? Where did I get that one? From reading the Bible. And you, you found so 20 errors. I found uh, the age differences. So I looked them up. Uh -huh. uh, I looked at the manuscript, right? OK. Uh, I looked at the original language. And then that's what I came to conclude. So one thing we right. agree now is the Bible has errors. No. You just said it. <laughs> Transcription believe, errors. I believe that the translations could be incorrect, but I'm not 100% certain. Again, Charlie, 22 and 42 is not a translation issue. They're two different numbers. Of course It's I not, agree. look, look, we speak English in different ways. Yeah. If I said 22 or if I said 22, yeah. would that be a different number? <laughs> no. If I said 22 and I said 42, is that a different translation or a different number, different number. that clearly contradicts? Hold on, hold on. Can I be 22 and 42? No, you cannot be. So that means a contradiction. No. Let, let, me, <laughs> let me explain. Let me explain for you. Let me explain. Please. So if I write down 22 okay. and it's on some old piece of paper okay. and you saw it, right, uh -huh. but you thought it was 42. Excellent. And you write down 42. That's an error. That is what... The the error, that, listen, listen, Charlie, don't lie. God sees you. Huh? You have to let me explain. Charlie, hold on, hold on. Let, 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 me let me just, in your own example, you go to give a test yes. in your schools in the UK. Yes. And the answer is 22, yeah. and you wrote 42, <laughs> and the teacher read clearly 42. Yeah. Would she give you the marks? No. Thank you. <laughs> One. Thank you. Why would she not give you the marks, Charlie? That's not this. Why would she not give you the marks? You can't compare. That. Why would she not give you the marks? You cannot compare. Excuse that. me, Charlie. Let me just finish. Why would she not give you the marks? She would tell you 42 is the incorrect answer. It's an error. She wouldn't tell you it's translation. She wouldn't tell you close enough. She would tell you this is wrong. You sure? Your answer was 22. So if you cannot be 22 and 42 at, one, at the same time, then one of them is an error. And you have here admitted, whether you want to admit it or not, that the Bible has, how many, you said less than 20? I'll said, prove you wrong on that too, but it's okay. Let me, let me, because, let me ask you this now. 
read for me. And I know you've already read these, and I know you know these, but you deny them. But Allah will make it apparent in front of everybody. And Jacob begot Joseph, uh, the, the husband of Mary, of whom was born Jesus. So who's the father of Joseph? <laughs> um, according to this. According to the Bible? Yeah, according to the Bible. <laughs> who's the father of Joseph? Who's the father of Joseph? Uh, Jacob. Excellent. Read. Uh, now, now Jesus, Jesus himself began his ministry at about 30 years of age, uh, begin as he was supposed, the son of uh, Joseph, the son of Eli. Who's the father of Joseph here? Eli. Uh, Eli. Is Jacob the father of Joseph or Eli the father of Joseph? Um, um, I'm not 100% sure. Oh, you're not? Is this an error? I don't think it's an error. Okay, so if I clearly show you yeah. that then one verse it says Jacob is the father of Joseph yeah. and the other clearly says that Heli is the father of Joseph that's not an error I would have to look into that point. you haven't looked into this you're uh, a Christian you read the Bible course, yes that's an error uh, Charlie be honest I, I, don't think, I think Charlie be honest I think there is Charlie a for it. what is it uh, that's why I will have to look into you think there's a reasonable explanation even though you've never looked it up I haven't looked to you. I haven't but you believe there is a reasonable explanation because of what? Because you clearly see that there are two different names and you inter there's a reasonable explanation. What is it? I've never looked it up. Then how do you know that one exists? Because Charlie, you're caught, bro. This is why it's kryptonite. I got you. We're just getting started. We're just getting started. You see these? You see these? This is more than 20. I got you on this. I got you on this. We're going to have fun. Okay. Now, as the white man that you are, and if a man, you want me to read it or you want to read it? Let's have you read it. You read it. No, you read it. No, no, you read you it. You love reading it. I'll read it. I do love reading it. Okay. And you're going to hate me reading it. <laughs> Why am I going to hate you reading it? If a man beats his male or female servant with a rod so that he dies under his hand, he shall surely be punished. Notwithstanding, if he remains alive a day or two, he shall not be punished, for he is his property. You believe that God allowed a slave master to beat his slave, and if he remains alive a day, there is no punishment because humans are properties of others? Uh, you believe this is the word of God? Yes. Oh, interesting. So you believe that if a slave owner beats his slave so bad, he lives a day, but dies after that, there is no punishment? I think if God said it, then it must be just. It must be just. You believe, Charlie, this is justice. That a slave be beaten, male or female, yeah. so bad, he yeah. dies a day later, yeah. and there is no punishment because that slave is the property of somebody else. Uh, I believe that. You believe that you need to get out of this conversation? No, I thought someone just told me. Uh, uh, I believe that if God said that, then mm -hmm. there must be a reason and it's just. What's the reason? Well, it's just my well, do, What doesn't say what the reason is. Oh, what? because it's property. You believe people are people's property. Slavery was justified. Uh, I believe that. You believe like, for example, Africans that were taken from Africa by your ancestors, if they were beaten you and they lived at the, well, the, you didn't, the, the Europe, Europe didn't engage in slavery? Of course, but you can't just say okay. my direct ancestors. Not your direct ancestors, but people from your nation. People from the UK. UK yeah. that brought those slaves. If they yeah. beat them and as long as they lived a day, there is no punishment because those black Africans were the property of those Europeans. You believe that? I believe that if the, interesting. the Bible says that, then it's Interesting, fine. interesting, interesting. No wonder you didn't like the Bible. And that's why you didn't like me reading this, huh? But it's okay, we're coming. We're just getting started now. Mm. Yeah, we got this, man. Don't worry. Mm. After this, I would have to go after this last one. Oh, I answered three or four of your questions. I got you. I got you. One, one more. One more. One. No, no. You were going to get back to me with your research to continue. First Samuel, verse fifteen, verse three, chapter thirteen. Just, just one second. Just give me one second. We're just finishing, huh? Now, Charlie. Now go and attack Amulek and utterly destroy all that they have and do not spare them, but kill both man and woman, infant and nursing child, ox and sheep, camel and donkey. You believe, just one second, yeah? you believe that God ordered 
the killing, the massacre by sword, by not, but of infant children, nursing children, ox and sheep and donkeys. You believe that's just? Thank you, Charlie. Have a good day. Have a good day. Thank you so much.